Welcome to Everyday Nursing Knowledge Lectures and today we will learn daub of tubes and how to insert. Daub of it's a small bore that means small in diameter. It's a flexible feeding tube. It is inserted with the use of guide wire called stylet. It is used for medication and for feeding administration. Since it's small bore, it cannot be used for gastric decompression. The main features are it has a weighted tip and a guide wire called stylet. Both helps with insertion. It can be placed into stomach or post pyloric, that is to intestine, duodenum or jejunum. The adult size is anywhere from 8 to 12 French, that is 8, 10 and 12 French. Now let's see the steps of daub of insertion. You get all the supplies, daub of, lubricant to lubricate the tube, syringe and stethoscope to confirm the position, tape to secure, marker to mark the measurement, and gloves to explain the procedure and now get the measurement. So for gastric placement, measure from the tip of the nose to the earlobe and to the siphoid process. This is for gastric placement. For duodenum placement, from siphoid process, measure till the mid axillary line and then mark the measurement. Now for jejunum placement, you have to add few more centimeter. That is for adults, 10 more centimeter from the duodenum placement. Now you got the measurement and mark the measurement. Place the patient in supine and upright position with the head of the bed 45 degree. Before insertion, secure the stylet. This prevents the tube from bending and kinking. You have to flush the tube with water before insertion. This activates the internal lubricant and helps with easy removal of stylet and remove or flush out water with air. Lubricate the tube and insert into one nair. Once the tube reaches the nasopharynx, you feel a slight resistance. Instruct the patient to tilt head and to swallow. If allowed, you can give sips of water. This closes the trachea, opens the esophagus and allows easy passage of the tube. Slowly advance the tube till the predetermined mark. Remember, any point if the patient shows signs of respiratory distress, that is continuous cough, drop in oxygen. Remember, the tube is in airway, slowly remove the tube. Once the tube is in position, you need x-ray to confirm the position. It's a gold standard method of confirmation. You can also aspirate the gastric contents and test for pH. The pH should be less than 5.5. You can do a whoosh test, that is inject 20 to 30 ml of air and auscult it for air sound in the epigastric region. But remember, x-ray is the gold standard method of confirmation and once it's confirmed, remove the stylet. But for post pyloric placement, do not remove the stylet. Let the patient remain in upright or you can always turn the patient towards right. This will help passage of tube under gravity. Now, instill air, 250 to 500 ml of air in adults or intermittent insufflation with 10 to 20 ml of air every 10 minutes into the stomach. This distends the stomach, open the pylorus. Slowly advance the tube till the predetermined mark. You might feel or hear a pop sound as tube passes through the pylorus. Now get an x-ray to confirm the position. Once the position is confirmed, remove the stylet. So today we learned daub of tube and insertion and thanks for watching my video.